What is up, everybody? I assume most of you guys read the title. Um, my mom was diagnosed, I guess, with coronavirus. And right off the bat, before I even get into this, the reason why I'm talking about this stuff right now is to humanize this issue because we're always talking about these statistics, especially with someone like myself, where I'm covering this on a daily basis and like, hey guys, look what's going on in the United States. Look what's going on in China or Italy or Somalia or North Korea or Germany. So these things are looked at as like an international event. And sure, our states more or less are quarantined right now, but we don't hear about individual stories as to like how this affects people, especially like how does this affect the, obviously the, the person, but then the people around them as well. I find it very ironic in a way because of the fact that I cover this. If you guys have seen my other videos, you know I cover this stuff pretty much every day. The coronavirus too is like, it's one of those situations where you know it's gonna get closer and closer to you, but you just don't know if it's gonna be in a week from now, a couple weeks, a couple months. But um, pretty much the story is I got a call and it was my mom and she said that she was having some health issues the last week or so. The respiratory aspect of the illness was getting really bad. And so she went to the hospital. They didn't have enough tests available like the actual test to say indefinitely like this is in fact the can't say it because youtube will send me other another statement saying that i can't you know say the word but uh, that she has the pandemic they could only do enough tests to say that she has it but they couldn't say 100 percent that that is in fact the case but she, they they couldn't even treat her at the actual hospitals because of the fact that they were already overcrowded what that is the situation that we are currently presented with and most people are presented with at some sort of capacity or they know somebody who's dealing with this situation or they will know somebody in the upcoming months dealing with this type of a situation. It's, uh, it was very shocking, obviously, and it's even more shocking learning about this stuff and then bam, you get a call like that. It's like, what the hell? So right now she lives alone as well. And so that's kind of another situation because she kind of, she's quarantined off, but she's living alone as well. So that's just a whole situation. And so my ability to be able to help is very limited as well because I have to be on the outskirts, which sucks. So it's like, how do you help trying to figure that out? This wasn't uh, supposed to be like a long video. I'm just letting you guys know that's the situation. If there's anything in particular that you guys would like to know, let me know and I could cover it. It's just one of those situations where you hear about like, oh, the mort mortality rate in the US is still pretty low. However, the hospitals are getting so overwhelmingly overcrowded. And if we're matching up to places like, for example, Italy, where there's a now 11% mortality rate, you're kind of weighing the options. And you're like, holy shit, wait a second, there's 11% mortality rate. They also can't help your mom at the moment either. And so it's this weird feeling of just like this overwhelming existential frustration that a lot of people deal with with other health conditions as well. And this is the, the coronavirus is just showing all the issues that we are currently dealing with within our system anyway. Like I was already dealing with this shit with my dad because he had, he, uh, he had lung cancer and just the in, incompetencies of our healthcare system that are stemmed from the incompetencies of our political leaders and the situations with money and politics. And I don't need to get into it. You guys already know the situation, but this is just another example of that shit. And I think that now that this is getting more personalized to everybody around the world and everybody in the US in particular, where we know somebody who's had struggles like with medical conditions, but now it's to the point where all of us are going to know somebody who's going to be dramatically affected and might pass away as a result. So that is all I have for you. Uh, I will keep you guys up to date. If you guys follow me on Twitter at ZachMoss6, I'll keep you guys up to date with that as well. You know, my dad had an interesting saying. It was, you gotta keep moving. He was a major in the military. He always told me that, you gotta keep moving. And so there's a point in time where you feel your feels and then you move forward. You feel it, you deal with it, and you keep going. I think this is one of those situations. So as I'm giving you these updates, I'm going to continue on with my videos covering the coronavirus. I don't give a shit if YouTube decides to demonetize this or, or wait till I get like 500 views and then cut it down to like 10. I don't care. 